We're in Fairfield Bay to discover the Native Americans that once called this area home and this amazing Indian rock cave. Let's hit the trail and go discover more. Museum was built in 1976. All the people uh, around the area that have come from other states have been wonderful about donating things. Uh, I've also done the history of uh, the m a Railroad and the history of Van Buren and Cleburne County. And so it's a little bit of a mix between what people have brought us and donated and to the new things uh, about our people and about the pilgrimage. There's a peace pipe in there that's 1600 AD. It's from a Chippewa tribe from northern Minnesota. The cabin was built in 1850 and it belonged to Mr. Hooten. And uh, when he understood that the valley was going to be flooded, uh, he took that apart and brought it up here. And it was him and the bootlegger. So he sold tickets to the cave for 10 cents, although he didn't own it. And the bootlegger made mus muscadine wine, white lightning, and homemade brew. I ordered moonshine and they're not even here to give it to me. There's a great trail that you can take to the cave and then this path that's handicap accessible. Before you get to this large cave, there's a small one that sits back to the right. Oh, this looks kind of creepy. It is October. Do we really want to go into a spooky dark cave right now? <laughs> if you're adventurous and you'd like to go into it, it'll be dark, so you need a good flashlight or a good light on your cell phone. You'll go to the back of it and come to two pillars, and if you go through them, it'll open up to another cave where there's more new drawings. The lichen is growing, and uh, it's covering up some of the petroglyphs, but if you're down here, I can help you pick them out. On the gray rock there, you can see some really good ones. Point out little ones that are uh, kind of match it up with the signage there. This is so neat, especially that it's here in Van Buren County where I'm from. I don't know, I just think that's so cool to know the history of what was here before we were here. Actually, I have all the original drawings when they did it years ago. The walls of these caves are covered with petroglyphs and the difference is these were actually carved into the rock versus a pictograph which is painted with muscadines or some kind of berry. So come and discover Arkansas.